Cameos are the newest gimmick to the Mortal Kombat franchise. In Mortal Kombat 11, you can choose your character's special moves. They had crushing blows. And in Mortal Kombat X, we had variations. So in Mortal Kombat 1, they decided to introduce cameo fighters, which they might have a face in an animation, sure. But cameos essentially are just extra special moves you add to your main character anyways. Like when I use Frost, my character now has a low freezing special move that yeah, sure, Frost comes on screen and does it, but Frost is not staying on screen and fighting with me. So it's not really a 2v2 fighter. In my opinion, it's barely an assist fighter just because the cameo moves are again, just extra special moves you give to your main character. But with that being said, because cameos are essentially the identity of Mortal Kombat 1, they are essential. They are essential to how you fight, how you play, what you want to do in your next fight and how you counter your opponent. Rather than having different builds to one character, like Mortal Kombat 11 have to choose what kind of special moves you want on your character. Mortal Kombat 1 says, hey, here's a bunch of extra special moves that we gave, you know, the face of Kano to, or we gave these ones the face of Cyrax to. But between sets, you can choose what cameos you want to use. So is your opponent zoning you out like crazy? Then maybe you switch to some zero cameo and make yourself projectile and vulnerable. That's a great counterplay. And that can be applied to any character. Meaning no matter who you play, whether you play Scorpion, Raiden, Liu Kang, Reiko, Sindel, it doesn't matter. You can choose sub zero cameo and make yourself projectile and vulnerable to again, counterplay any zoners out there. Peacemaker is a great character to Mortal Kombat 1 and I love him, but I'm gonna be real with you. One of his biggest weaknesses is he's got no real good mix up game. We have our special move eagerly for the lows and that's great. We have an overhead teleport that's super reactable, but in our strings, no real overhead. So if you wanna help strengthen that weakness, if you're a Peacemaker main, you're gonna use cameos to help that weakness. Like Scorpion, he offers you a great overhead. So if you wanna throw in that mix up and go, okay, we're gonna go hit, hit, and then overhead. If your opponent's blocking low and you throw that out there, that's gonna be great. Then you got a stun move, you can go for another combo. So it's an overhead and a combo extender. It allows you to combo off other moves. If you're a Peacemaker man and you really wanna zone out your opponent, well now Scorpion also gives you a full screen armored reset move that gives you that full screen spacing you might want as a Peacemaker player. Then zone out your opponent, make them come into you and then say, psych, I'm doing this, you get it. If you don't want the overhead that Scorpion offers you, well maybe you want the low that Frost offers you, so you can go hit, hit, and then go for the low hits here. Again, that mix up is kinda just what you're going for, right? Even Striker offers you a good low move, he offers a good overhead move, and he allows for awesome combo extension and damage. If your main is a character kind of like Garrus that doesn't have great mobility and you're having a hard time getting in on your opponent, stuff like that, you might want to use cameos like Kung Lao or Motaro that offer you a great teleport move and just give you that mobility that you don't have in your standard kit. Kung Lao offers you the teleport and that's great for mobility. He gives us great combo extension as well. And it gives characters that don't really have projectiles a projectile and it's also a low hitting projectile that you can then hold and go for the mix up. And that's a really hard low overhead mix to block. So we have utility, we have combo extension, we have mobility. It's again, however you wanna play the game with your main character. A utility that some cameos have that most people don't really talk about and don't utilize in my opinion is the restand mechanic. And cameos like Sector have this flame move here on the surface that might look like just a normal flame move, great. But if our opponent's in the air and we use that, it's actually gonna restand our opponent. So they're not knocked down, they can do a wake up attack, and it allows us to go for the mix up and the pressure. Do we wanna go for the low hits? Do we wanna go for the overheads? It allows you to keep being the aggressor without giving your opponent the option to do wake ups. And that's a great tool that most people don't actually use. Cameos do take some time to really get used to in Mortal Kombat 1. And I'm not saying they're for everybody, but I am saying a lot of people like to think they're a separate character. Like, oh, put Kano in the game, put Sonya in the game. And I agree, it'd be cool to see them in the game as a playable character, but they're not like separate characters in a way. You're just adding extra special moves to your main character. And those special moves happen to have a face and a special animation attached to them. But do you want air combo extension from Sonya? Do you want the low freeze? from Frost? Do you want the unblockable low pressure that Jax gives you? Do you want a variety of those, kind of like Chameleon? Do you want to play the meta and just do what's most optimal for damage? Or do you want to play with a little bit more utility that certain cameos can give you? Or do you want a play style where you're just going to have no idea what's going to happen next? There are so many different and fun ways to play Mortal Kombat 1 with the addition of cameos that are absolutely essential to the game and its identity. People seem to overlook them or overhate them. I think they're great. They're fun. They give you fun to pull 
pull off combos they give you great utility and mobility they help strengthen your character's weaknesses and they're great counter plays to any kind of opponent you might run into these are just my thoughts on why cameos are essential in mortal kombat 1 let me know down below what do you think of cameos in mortal kombat have they grown on you do you still hate them let me know your thoughts down below subscribe here for more mortal kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos for more guides tutorials and more